Hello friends, hopefully y'all are doing all right this morning. Well, it's morning here, it's about five o'clock, but I figured I would go ahead and shoot this real quick video. I'm gonna try to keep it straight and to the point. Um, Thailand has changed some of their entry rules for entering the kingdom. And so I'm, I'm sure there are people out there that are wondering, well, well what is it like exactly entering into the kingdom? Uh, Thailand changed their rules on July the 1st and my flight into Bangkok landed on July the 1st so I got a couple notes here I'm gonna just try to run through this for you real quick when you get to immigration and that's if you're coming in on a on a v e visa you can get visa on arrival but I came in on an e visa so when you get to immigration there's a bunch of lanes and above every lane there's an electronic sign and it's telling you the documents that you need to have ready to give to the immigration officer uh, the first thing of course is your passport you also need your boarding pass from the flight that brought you into thailand the sign also said you need to have your thai pass now that's where people are like well, what's going on because they said that they was scrapping the Thai pass on July the 1st. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. The fourth thing that you, let's see, yeah. Passport, boarding pass, Thai pass. Fourth thing is e-visa. Okay, your fifth thing is your hotel confirmation. And the sixth thing that you need is your TM6 card. Okay, so we'll go back. Everybody knows what the passport is, the boarding pass, the Thai pass. She didn't even look at it. The immigration officer, I handed her all the paperwork. She didn't even look at the tie pass. So my guess is they are scrapping it. Maybe they just haven't changed the signs yet. I don't know. I just know that she didn't look at it. Uh, the issue with that is my flight that left the United States left on June the 29th. And... I guess because of that, because I didn't leave on the first or after the first, the airline that I flew with, they required me to have the tie pass with the QR code. And it came up in my app and it told me, it said, if you don't have that QR code, you can't get on the plane. So maybe within the next few days that might change. I'm just giving you info as of what happened on July the first. Okay. Um, Again, your e-visa, if you get that, don't worry about it because they're going to send it to you. All you got to do is print it out or show it to them on your phone. I printed everything out hard copy so that I would have both. I actually had two copies of everything. But uh, your hotel confirmation, she did look at that. And then your TM6 card. Um, don't worry about it because they give it to you on the flight. One of the flight attendants will give it to you. You just fill it out. And I have heard talk that they're scrap. They're going to be scrapping the TM6. Um, but as of July 1st, you still need it because she stamped it and gave it back to me. So again, I hope that's, um, helpful for some of you. My, my insurance, she didn't ask for that. Um, I had copies of it. I don't, I don't know because maybe because it was you know it's linked to the tie pass you can't get the tie pass unless you have it you, you upload proof of insurance so again i'm gonna go i'll go through the six again that they asked for they asked for my passport my boarding pass my e-visa my hotel confirmation and my tm6 card the tie pass i can't tell you if when you get here they're gonna ask for it and i also don't know what your airline is gonna do um so there's all of that. Now I'll give you another little tidbit. For those of you that that's all the info you wanted regarding entry. Thanks for joining me. I uh, appreciate it. If you decide that you want to stay a little bit longer, you're more than welcome. Uh, but so I flew from San Diego to San Francisco. That was the first leg of my flight. It was only a little bit over an hour. And then when I got to San Francisco, I had about a four hour, four and a half hour layover. 
I was like, okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get something to eat. Um, I tried to edit some video, relax just a little bit. And then about 40 minutes before the flight, before boarding started, about 40 minutes before boarding, excuse me. I said, you know what? Let me go down here to the gate and look at the seat map and see exactly where I'm sitting on the plane. And because I, I had a feeling I was in a middle, middle seat and, uh, I said, let me go down here and see if maybe possibly they can move me somewhere else, even if I have to pay a little bit extra, because that flight from San Francisco to Tokyo was 11 hours. And I'm like, man, I don't want to be sitting between people cramped, you know, scrunched up for 11 hours. So I get down there and the first uh, attendant, she's like, do you have your COVID vaccination? And I said, no, I have a negative ATK test which is all Thailand requires you to have uh, 72 hours before departure. I said, no, I have an ATK test. She said, you have to have a COVID negative. I mean, you have to have a COVID vaccine. I said, no, that's not what Thailand says. And that's not what United said. So when you, when you book the flight, as it gets closer to as it gets closer to your flight, United sent me, um, I think it was called like traveler requirements or something. It was a link inside the app. And that link allowed you to upload all your pertinent information. And I uploaded everything that they asked for. And when it came to the ATK test, or you could take a PCR if you wanted to, but I was like, why do I, why would I do that when the ATK test is faster and it's cheaper? So I actually went to the, uh, it was a place inside San Diego's airport. Uh, it's called Carbon Health. I'll have a video of a lot of this stuff a little bit later on. Like I said, I wanted to get this part out for people who really wanted to know about what is it like to enter right now. So, uh, but I'm, t I'm telling you this because of the whole airline thing. It had me a little shook, but okay, what was I saying? So I took the ATK test and when they sent me the, when, when United sent me the link, they said, based on your travel itinerary, you cannot take your COVID test before July or June 27th at 6 50 p.m you can't take it any sooner than that <laughs> okay so i showed up at carbon health my appointment was actually for 6 50 and i showed them that in the app and she said well we'll just wait a few minutes before we actually uh run the test and you know that way when it goes on the paperwork it'll show that it was after 6 50. i'm like all right cool so they did that test was negative now we fast forward to what I was talking about in San Francisco, the attendant asking for my COVID vaccination papers. I said, I don't have it. I got the ATK test. She said, you have to have the vaccine. I said, no, that's not what they told me. Then it was another girl that was standing there and she kind of leaned over to her friend and she was like, he's right. He, he doesn't have to have the vaccine. He's okay with the negative test. And she's like, okay, well, do you have a copy of it? I said, yeah. So I handed it to her. Well, I actually handed it to her on my phone. I pulled it up on my phone. And uh, as she's looking at it, what a I don't know if this lady was a supervisor, but her whole aura and, and the way she was acting, she seemed like she was Queen Bee around there. So I'm assuming she was a manager. She walked over and just snatched the phone from the girl. And she's looking at it and she's scrolling up and she was like, no, this is this is wrong. You can't board the plane. And I'm like, why not? And she said, you, you took your COVID test more than 24 hours before you're departing to uh before you are departing to go to tokyo and i said that's not what they told me and she said well we we going off of um what thailand tells us and i said well yeah i said look united sent me uh all these steps that i needed to follow in order to get on this plane i followed and did everything that they said to the letter and I said, let me see my phone. And I showed her on my phone because I took a screenshot 
of where they told me when I could take the test, what my time frame was. I showed her that screenshot and she still was like, no, that's wrong. You can't get on the plane. I said, look, again, I have followed everything that they have told me to do. I said, I, when I submitted the paperwork via the app, they accepted it. I said, not only that, I have the Thai pass, which means that Thailand accepted that COVID test because you have to submit that COVID test to Thailand to get the pass. So both the airline and Thailand themselves accepted that when I uploaded it. So why are you telling me I can't get on the plane right now? And she kept on with her BS. Weasels in the bushes, man. That's why my channel was called that. Because there's always something or somebody that's trying to get in the way of you living the life that you want to live. You know, it's always some red tape or it's always a hurdle or a hoop you got to jump through. It's always something. But I have learned you just got to do what you got to do to try to move forward. Don't let them stop you from doing what you want to do as as much as you can you know sometimes we, we just can't do nothing about it but so i was like what do i need to do right now i was a little heated i probably said it with a little bit those of you who know me know i said it with more tone than that but <laughs> i basically was like what do i need to do right now and she said you got to call united and they'll have to rebook your flight and i'm like whatever so here i am they're boarding the plane they're about to well they was probably 10 minutes away from boarding the plane. I'm like, this is some BS, bro. You know, so I go upstairs. I call United. The lady is on the phone with me. She asking me for my confirmation number. Weasels in the bushes again because this lady tells me, um, give me your 13 digit confirmation number. And I'm like, I don't have a 13 digit confirmation number. So I'm looking on the app. There's nothing there. I said, where would I find that at? She said, it's in your confirmation email from United when you book the flight. So I pull up my email. You know, I have a separate folder just for my travel stuff so I can get to it real fast. And uh, I'm scrolling through and I find a confirmation number, but it's not a number and it's not 13 digits. It's an alphanumeric joint and it's only like, I don't know, six or seven characters long and i said you mean this right here and i read it i read it off to her and she said yeah that's it i said well i thought you said it was 13 numbers and she's like oh well this is the confirmation number blah blah, blah. she's like what's going on <laughs> i said they won't let me board the plane etc she said look um let me call down there and I'll, I'll come back to you she said just hold on a second i said okay well while i'm on hold uh i hold on let me go back while I'm on the phone with her, uh, I can tell that there's a call trying to bust through on my phone. So I look at it, and it's a California number. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I bet that's them downstairs trying to call me. Well, kind of in that moment is when the lady, the lady from customer service, she was like, I'm going to call them. Just stay on the line. I'm going I'm to I'm come back to you. I'm like, all right. So in my head, I said, you know what? I'm going to just walk downstairs and see if that was them trying to call me. As I'm going down the escalator, I hear them on the PA. Uh, this is for flight, whatever it was, NH847 to Tokyo. Uh, we are paging Philip Green. And I was like, yeah, that's them. And in my mind, I was like, they getting ready to tell me that it's all good and I get on the plane. And sure enough, as soon as I came down the stairs, I turned the corner and the uh, supervisor lady who had a whole lot of attitude with me a minute ago, she was hyper apologetic. And she was like, I'm so sorry. She said, we called Bangkok. They said that you're good to go. And she said, so what I did was you were in the middle seat. I moved you to a window. And she said, I moved you to a window on your second flight into Bangkok too. And I was like, you know, I appreciate it. She was, she was doing the whole, you know, bowing thing. She was, she was apologizing. And I was like, it's, it's okay. I, I understand that you are just trying to do your job, you know? And, uh, Anyway, it worked out. Um, I'm here in Bangkok. I've been, been wanting to come here for years. Many years I've been wanting to come here, and I finally made it. And uh, my first couple of days have been great. Like I said, I got a 
couple more. Uh, is that getting ready to say? <laughs> oh, I've got I've got footage of all this. I guess what I could we, what we could do is this right here. I still have like two or three videos left from when I was in Mexico. Um, comment below and tell me if you want to see the rest of that footage or do you just want to move forward and see what's going on here in Thailand. Okay. So comment below and uh, I thank all y'all for watching and for listening to me ramble. <laughs> I hope all is well with y'all back home and we'll see you on the next one.